This man shows his shoulders. He also had his assistant bring in a metal detector just to prove he was a serial killer. As the detector swept over the scars, the detector emits an ear-splitting alarm. People drew a cold breath. The serial killer, who had been hiding for 15 years, escaped an effective prosecutor. He actually wrote a book about his entire crime and sold it publicly. And even for the sake of hype, Jack even went to the police station to find the Sheriff David who shot him back then. He publicly provoked to create entertainment for him, to create a buzz. He went to the extent of opening up the scars of the victim's families. He went door to door to ask for forgiveness, to get the families to forgive him. He said he had to experience the killing himself for the sake of his book. Luckily, the victim's families did not forget their hatred. They formed the Avengers. They made a plan. They had the old man disguised as a cleaning lady. They had him swim to Jack and put poisonous snakes in the pool. Jack was having a great time. He didn't even notice. By the time he found out it was too late. Luckily, the bodyguards reacted in time. They carried Jack on their backs and took him to the ambulance downstairs. But what they didn't expect was, the ambulance was also occupied by the Avengers. At night the Avengers took Jack away to their base. A pot of cold water was poured over. After a brief venting, they were ready to kill him on the spot. But at that moment, suddenly a blackout. The electric switch was tripped. A figure appeared in the darkness. He had come prepared. He untied Jack with his night vision goggles. The woman reacted. But it was too late. In the end, they had to watch as the mystery man took Jack away. This woman came to the police station. Her eyes were red. She slapped Sergeant David in the face. It turns out, last night, her scratches were on David's neck. She hated this scumbag so much. If it wasn't for him dating her own daughter back then, her daughter wouldn't have been killed. All these years, this woman never expected him to avenge her daughter's death. But she never expected. This ungrateful man, he saved the murderer in front of her. A few days later, David and Jack were on on a law show together. The show wanted to use their conflict to create drama. But what I didn't expect was that in the link to the outside audience, a man named Sam called. He said he was the real killer. Jack was just a third-rate writer who was trying to get traffic. This forced the show to be suspended. David immediately had Sam's phone number locked. But to his surprise, the call came from his home. So he rushed home to see. The place was silent. There was only a note on the mirror. It said he was going to bury David's mother. David was hating him for his incompetence. He couldn't protect the woman he was with. Suddenly his mother came out of the room again. David was in tears, hugging his mother and refusing to let go. But at that very moment, he saw a figure across the street waving at him. So he rushed over to her. But by the time he got there, all that was left in the house was a lighted stool. There was a knife and a videotape on it. David took the tape home and looked at it. In it was the image of his girlfriend before she was killed. David's eyes instantly turned red. He held back his anger and repeatedly watched the video. Finally, he found a clue. The next day, David held a special press conference. He took out the knife and said that Sam might be the real killer. Side Jack also brought in reporters. He brought out pictures of the burglary at his house. He said that Sam stole the knife from his safe. He also mocked Sam for being a piece of shit. No one could tell who was telling the truth. That's when the team saw the point of confusion. They immediately arranged for someone to reach out to Sam. The main focus was to organize a national discussion for him. To their surprise, Sam agreed to do it. He also gave a war invitation to Jack on the spot. And Jack was not afraid. He said he would be on time for the fight. With the expedited arrangement of the program team, soon the three people sat together. Who would have thought that someone would confess that he was a murderer? One of them, Sam didn't even bother to argue. He just let out the hard evidence. He told the TV station to bring the camera to the second scene. That's where he buried the last victim. It was also David's girlfriend. Sure enough, the bones were soon exhumed. Seeing Sam's smugness, Jack had nothing to say. He had to admit that he was not the real killer. Then, how did he know so much about the details of the crime and wrote a book about it? It turns out that the author of the book is not him either. It was David, the sheriff sitting across from him. So it was all a trap. Jack was also a family member of the victim. He tried to die, but he was rescued. So he got a makeover. He played along with David. The purpose was to take advantage of the killer's arrogance, to get the killer to come forward. Sam was caught off guard, but he quickly reacted. It's been 15 years since the lawsuit was filed. What can you do to me? 
After 15 years of silence, David also finally broke out. He took out the last clue. It turns out that the video that Sam gave him, there was a little bit of radio sound, the live broadcast of their 14th presidential election, and the broadcast was 14 minutes short of 15 years. That means Sam is still within the validity period of the lawsuit. Sam panicked, but soon he calmed down. He got down on his knees and played the emotional card. He tried to stall for time by confessing. Unfortunately, he was out of luck. David had worked hard for 15 years. He was waiting for this moment. He didn't hesitate to pull the trigger. A fellow officer next to him made an emergency lunge. David missed his shot. Instantly, the surrounding area was plunged into darkness, and Sam took advantage of the darkness to jump out of the window and escape. After 10 minutes of chasing, although the police still managed to subdue him, but the effective prosecution period has expired, he will eventually be acquitted. Just when everyone was in despair again, David stepped forward and stabbed him in the chest with a fountain pen. This is a film based on a true event. In the end, David was sentenced to five years in prison for murder was sentenced to five years in prison. And since this incident, the effective period of prosecution in Korea has been changed from 15 years to 25 years. Well, that's all for today's movie. See you next time.